get three this weekend. I know it was huge for the team, but uh, how would you kind of assess the weekend as a whole? I thought we played really good in games one and three. I, I tip my hat to their guy. He thought he pitched good in game two today. We still just got to – we're not consistent enough. I really challenged them after the first game today of, of playing our style every day and, and just doing a little bit more. You know, we just – we kind of fall into that. We've played a good game and then not a good game. And, you know, great teams are so consistent. And uh, we got to learn to be like that. You Park? challenged Parker that to two starts in a week. Uh, kind, of, kind of unheard of. And then he yeah. answered about probably his best outing of the year today. Talk about kind of where he is in your plans and how he performed this week. Well, I think he moves, you know, he's, he's a guy for next weekend. So, you know, you got a weekend starter. And that's kind of what we thought. Probably I've misused him for a year and a half in terms of he is probably more of a starter showing than he was a bullpen guy. The hard part for us in our scrimmages, he's, he does the same thing in our scrimmages he's doing right now. He's striking out a lot of guys. And so um, he's done really well. Hopefully we can get him back on a good rotation now. And But if we didn't use him today, then we, you know, then you're skipping time with him, and not, he's going to be short next weekend, and we want to make sure he had plenty of rest for next weekend. What have you seen from him that you feel like is really working these last two starts? It's just a breaking ball. It's just a plus breaking ball. It's just really hard to hit. What did you think of Kate today? Kate was good. You know, probably a couple more pitches than normal, but um, his stuff was good. He's given us a handful of good starts. He just shows up and hits three pitches for strikes, and it's very competitive and very consistent, which has been good. Mike, Starting it, pitching has been good, really, all, all year. It has been. It has been. we we got to get better in the bullpen. And we have good guys in the bullpen. They're just not pitching with great confidence right now. And um, we're trying to find some roles and trying to, you know, we're trying to match right now is really the biggest thing for us because we, we don't have that dominant guy right now that's just going out there and nailing it down. So we're we're matching up and probably not matching up the right way all the time. So i, I got to do a better job. You were trying to find a guy to, to get that last out in that first game, and Mikey came in there and – and shut it down. Did you like what you saw from him? Yeah, I thought he was good. We, we felt like Velo would help right there. So Mikey uh, felt like he'd come in, and if he could get ahead, you know, we'll throw some fastballs by some guys. Yeah, you had a few different guys in that ninth inning. Just trying to get some, some guys some work for next week. Not work, just trying to get guys out. But, you know, just, you know, we, we just, we've just been okay there. You know what I mean? And so making good pitches, and um, they did a great job. They put some balls in place, and some balls, it's funny, all the balls found holes. And then the hard one found us. That's kind of how the way the game of baseball goes sometimes. And so, um, you know, Lane made a great play there to end it. Speaking of outs, the kind of gift that you won there with two outs in the – went out in the ninth, who saw it? How does that play out? How did you come out and challenge that? Kind of take us through what you guys We had a handful dugout. of guys in the dugout see it. We actually had it happen almost to us about two weeks ago. And we spoke about it. We talked about it as a team, and we've had it before. I've had it twice in my career where the runner ran by on home runs. The guy's standing there tagging, it's a home run, he runs right by him. And it's funny, because uh, Coach Bradley for Princeton, his son played for me at Indiana, and I would always give that speech. And he said when he got back to the dugout in between games, he said, Coach would always talk about that. He wasn't going to miss <laughs> that one. And it's just it's just an unfortunate play. And, and really, their guy is just hustling. You know, he's just playing really hard, and that play doesn't happen a lot, and you have to be really careful. R.J. Yeager's been coming off the bench the last couple of games. You started him this one, and it just seems like he's been – even his outs have been hard-hit balls and things like that, and he had a couple hits today. Did you like what you saw from him? Yeah, I did. We're, we're trying to find the right mix right now. I, I can't tell you I have it. I don't know if I'll have it in a week. I just, you know, um, we've just been a little up and down. It's nice for R.J. to give us a good game today. Last so, week and a half, Kellen Clark has uh, kind of solidified your belief in him and his role in this order. Can you talk about you know his the Terry's on here the last seven eight games? You know I said it on the radio a little while ago. He is very talented and he's hot. And so when you have a really talented guy that's hot, um, that's what you're getting out there on the field. And that that's why it was hard early to sit him down some. But he had he really struggled in spring training too. So he struggled in spring training. He had the first week or two just didn't play well. And it was kind of we just got him away from it a little bit. And him and Coach Gotro did a great job of just working and getting it going. And then. You know, you got a couple hits, and that's the way this game works. And you just got to keep – we talk about it all the time because we always have somebody that's hot, and we have somebody that's in a slump, it seems like. And so you're just trying to manage that all the way through, and our players have to understand that because it's a, it's one of the toughest parts about our game is it's um, it just changes from game to game. seems like we're starting to see more of Pico Com recently. What do you like from him recently? He's just left-handed and can knows how to pitch. So he can throw that breaking ball for strikes. I mean, that guy got one today when he fell behind, but he's going to come in and throw strikes and compete. And he – you know, when against the left-handers, we just don't have a ton of left-handers out of our pen right now. Cole Cheatham has a chance to be that. He was a couple weeks getting behind everybody. So he's starting to get back in the mix and should be able to help us there too. It looked like Lane has a little more confidence in the play. This weekend, 
probably the best at bats he's had this year. How would you kind of characterize where he is? And maybe do you see some of these things in practice where maybe he is being a little more competitive at well, he's play? A, he's a lot better hitter than he was this time last year. He's stronger, he's bigger, he understands it. And uh, his practices have been great. Um, but same, a little bit like Kellum, he just wasn't good early. And um, I spoke to him a couple days ago, and I know Goats talked to him a good bit. And he knew it. He just knows he's got to be a little more aggressive, and I think we saw that some this weekend. You know, you're going to have to – you know, we have a good little mix there, so you're going to have to really fight to, to stay in the lineup every day. You mentioned having lefties out of the bullpen. I know Andrew Long, we have that kind of – Control issues in the one appearance. How's he been looking in practice? So, so he's time? fine. He's he's just trying to get his feet back underneath him, trying to trying to get him back in the zone. So probably see him soon. Pitching plans for tomorrow? Jack Walker. So um, I don't know what they're doing, but you know, we'll we'll start with Jack and probably go a bullpen day that way. But they're in Tuscaloosa, so it's a pretty easy decision. They'll drive over here tomorrow and play. And I don't know if they drive back or drive home, but um, Tuesday just looks like we've had crazy weather the last two weeks, so we've. Hitting and missing and missing yesterday and playing two today, it's just, it's part of baseball. So we'll have to, we just want to play. Our team needs to play and they need to play. So uh, we're going to move it up a day.